All right. Do young people in the mainframe mix? Uh, let's talk about it. Let's say you are a student who's going to take a college course in mainframe studies, or you're a young professional and you're trying to apply for a mainframe role, and you want to know what it's like from someone who started off in the field within the past decade. Well, my name is Connor Pekovic. I've been a professional mainframe system programmer for three years now at the United States' largest insurance company. And I can tell you, let's go through all the pros and cons of what it's like to work on the mainframe from a young person's perspective. Well, the positives first is you're going to have great mentorship at any shop you go to because in these very large professional organizations that have mainframes, they usually have really good internal corporate governance and they'll provide you with mentorship and you'll have, you know, good solid uh, group of, of people on your team that you can lean on and grow from. And mentorship is really key in the beginning stages of being an IT professional. And you're going to find plenty of good, uh, nice mentors in mainframe shops. Another positive is that you're going to get experience at a very, very large organization. Um, this is going to help you um, build your resume when you can say you've worked for, you know, this corporation that's on like the Fortune 500 list or just a really big corporation from wherever in the world you are from. It's a real good resume builder to say that you've worked on administering a computer that's um, processed billions of transactions annually. Um, it'll really... Uh, show in your when you come out with all those skills too that it's made you a better IT person. Another positive is job security. So mainframes are usually critical pieces of IT infrastructure for your large organization. It's where the transactions are processing. It's where bills are being printed and sent from. Um, and a lot of companies keep their master records on the mainframe. So when layoffs begin to happen, it's usually uh, the mainframe people are kind of isolated. The worst case scenario is you might get a couple people externalized and you might have some external offshore people uh, coming to replace retirees. But in general, it's one of the most uh, job secure uh, professions in the IT industry across the you know 40 years we've been in the information era. Another huge benefit of working in a mainframe shop as a young IT professional is you're gonna learn the correct way to make changes in production environments on all of the essential parts of IT infrastructure, which is networking, databases, application changes, all of these things in a non-mainframe uh, IT shops. Sometimes there's some loose change management uh, fundamentals, but the rigor, um, and the process, everything is so documented. So if you want to learn how to, uh, you know, do, uh, something like make a networking change, or you want to learn how to create, uh, a database or something, you're going to have a lot of documented examples. Or if you want to learn how to install a product. You're going to have a lot of examples and documentation around you because these these mainframe shops from these large organizations have a high uh, focus on documentation. So you're going to find a lot of really good internal documentation on how to do things at mainframe shops where if you were to go work at a startup, you kind of might uh, try to do a lot of things for the first time. And it's it's always it's always better to have a solid example to go from. And you're going to have a lot of good examples in mainframe shops of, of whatever workflow you're doing. It's been done before, and there's probably really good documentation for it. Adding on to the good documentation part, uh, IBM does really, really good documentation of their ZOS software. There is just crystal clear from IBM. You go to the Knowledge Center, and it's, it's kind of lengthy. It's a lot of reading. but you know, that bachelor's degree is supposed to teach you to read very, very long things to the end. And if, if you do, uh, just take the documentation in, give yourself a few years to just like breathe it in. Um, everything will be very clear because when you work on the Unix and Windows world, uh, building applications, sometimes the answers to your problems are all on Stack Overflow. But in the ZOS world, all the answers to your problem are going to be in the Knowledge Center and very few times on a mainframe help forum. 
What are some negatives to working on a mainframe shop? Well, you get limited exposure to new technologies. Um, so you're not building web applications usually. You're like installing products and working with uh, databases like DB2, building tables and stored procedures and stuff. So if you yearn to be like a container guru and a front end web development because you love colors and flashing lights, um, this is not that, but you do get uh, to change the colors in TN3270 to your liking. But that is changing because we have the Zoe project and that's providing ways to do your coding in VS Studio code and submit jobs to the mainframe from the command line. And there's also a Zoe based web apps that are coming out that you can instead of going into the green screen tn 3270 to do your work you'll be able to go on to a, a website experience and do things from the web and that's that's uh coming in the future ibm's working very hard on those those things um it's also hard to learn tn 3270 at first but once you master it it is very powerful. It's like a souped up command line. Uh, you know, the command line, people are talking a lot these days about, you know, go back to the, let's go back to the command line. Get out, let's get out of these consoles or everyone's clicking around in these consoles. We want a command line. Well, TN3270 is like a souped up command line that's been very well thought out over the last 40 years. So it's very easy to use once you learn all the little tricks and tips. Um, in sum, Yes, young people should go work on the mainframe. In fact, there is a very famous article by Craig Mullins um, about how everybody should work on the mainframe at least once in their IT career. And it's worked out for me. Also, with that job security you get, you'll have a couple years to work on your uh, coding interview techniques because every IT professional these days needs to be able to pass coding interviews and you're going to need some time to train on lead code um, and you'll have this job security and then after hours you can train on lead code and then after a couple years of working on the mainframe you could take all your skills and experiences and go on and uh, live out the rest of your career so i hope you guys enjoyed the information in this video please feel free to ask any questions about my experiences in zos from a young person's perspective. And I, I think you should lean into it, whatever opportunity has, has come your way. Uh, everything that you learn from the ZOS environment can be applicable into uh, a Linux, Unix, Windows environment for sure. So thanks for listening.